whenever we start to exercise, it could be your walking, jogging, swimming, or uh, sprinting, or uh, your mountaineering, whatever it is, you're trying to pump more blood from your heart towards your muscles, right? So during that time, your blood pressure increases, your heart rate increases. During that initial time, uh, your body will use up your body fats to burn calories to get the energy, to get the muscles moving. During this time, we use up oxygen. This is called aerobic respiration or this is called aerobic exercise. The time uh, where we are using up body fats to burn calories to keep the body moving. So during this time, you are using oxygen. But after a period of time, when the intensity of exercise is increasing, your body has surpassed that stage. It can't use up oxygen anymore. It is beyond that limit. During this phase, your body will use up glycogen stores from your muscle to get that glucose. This doesn't need oxygen. This is called anaerobic exercise. So aerobic exercises are those exercises which are done for a long time. Like walking for 30 minutes, swimming for 30 minutes, or more than that, 30, 45 minutes, or one hour, or your marathons. Which needs a steady pace of movement in the body for a certain sustained period of time. These kind of exercises are aerobic exercises. These are the exercises which use up mostly your fats and some of your carbs as well. So during this time, uh, you can sustain the exercise, but you are not putting so much power. That you are not Im increasing the speed. You are at a set limit. You are cruising the car at a very minimal speed. So this is very good to improve your endurance, very good to build your heart health, uh, vascular health, respiratory health. The way you utilize oxygen also improves. So it will delay all your chronic diseases. Now, coming to anaerobic exercise, this needs speed. This needs power. So muscles move faster. It could be short periods of intense exercise. So it could be high intensity interval exercises, or it could be muscle building exercises, strength training, or plyometrics, or jumping jacks, or box squats things like this, or mountain climbers. These are short periods of intense exercise. This is where, after a certain period of time, uh, your body will use up glycogen stores for energy. During this time, body doesn't need oxygen. We get into something called anaerobic exercise. We need this kind of exercise as well. It's not just enough that you're doing just aerobics, which is good to improve cardiovascular health. Anaerobic Exercises also will improve your cardiovascular health, but beyond that, it will improve your muscle mass. It will uh, prevent your muscle loss. It will improve your bone health. It will improve your power, the speed, because it is going to fire up more active fibers in the muscle. So that is the reason we need to use both aerobic exercises and anaerobic exercises and strength training exercises in our day-to-day -day regime to improve overall fitness. Mm -hmm.